Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the music box, where somewhere we're going to find Phantom. Uh. Okay. Ah, fuck! No! Not a uh, really pleasant way to go, is it? Blah. No. Really? That's it? What you're asking me to do? I'm just gonna trigger the bat so I don't have to worry about it. Ah! Ah! Alright, that uh, was the worst timing in the world, admittedly. Right, okay. Sorry about that. Sonny needed my attention downstairs. Damn it! what I wanted to happen, I didn't think it would. Ah, uh, ah, uh, panic! Save spot. Okay. Wait. No, this way. Oh. I had a feeling. Okay. Ah! That's weird. I guess I would have figured the design of this thing wouldn't change all that much. Excellent! I can fix this! Thank you, door! Oh! Well, that was, uh, not what I was hoping would happen. Oh, I'm back here. No! Hmm. Starting to hit those things down there, but I guess it wouldn't have brought any health to me anyway. No. Thank you, Quarble. Since I haven't said that in a while. Fuck. 
Of course, it does a jillion damage because the spikes are cruel that way. I have to try. All that matters is I got past the second one without taking any damage. Even if I eat shit right here. Could've been a green orb, but no, it wasn't. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this! Ow. Right, you. I don't like you, and you don't like me, so why don't you come down here so I can kill you and get a green orb out of it? God damn it. Now I like you even less. I could have jumped up there. I didn't. No! How did... What? <sighs> okay. I may have been holding my breath at that room. I only realized it was at the very end there when I let it all out. tidbit. No. Okay, that works too. Uh, you remember that horrible thing in the infected future? The abomination beyond words. Fuck. Uh, well, you may have noticed that there were no quotes from Quarble during that sequence. So I assume that's because they wanted to keep the tension high, and they can't exactly do that with the reminders that you can die as many times as you want. 
Though it did give me the impression that Corbel was absolutely scared shitless of that thing, even compared to the other bosses. And, uh... Well, I looked the thing up and I discovered an interesting tidbit about it. That's, uh... If the very first time you die in a game of The Messenger is in the chase sequence with that thing, then when you respawn, <laughs> the Abomination will just sit there and wait patiently while it plays the usual, uh, conversation between, uh, Gaiden and Corbel. I'm here now. Interesting. The crystal doesn't even need to exist for the track to work. Thank you all the same. Fuck. I didn't die just there. Thank you! You know, I didn't think music boxes were quite this complicated inside. No. Oh, well, you know what? I'll leave that. It'll be fine. need to go in there. Don't get squished. Ha! Okay. I was missing the range of the first one, but yeah, I would say that was a pretty good example of what the uh, windmill shuriken can do.
death. seeing the ones from Prince of Persia doing this. Up and down is a bit of a new trick for these guys. Okay. That was embarrassing. Ooh. I'm up here now. What the? Go, darn it. Fuck. Fuck! Ha! Oh, damn it. Hmm! I can do this. Why can't I just spam the thing as fast as I normally can? Okay, so that's not what I meant to do, but it works! Ha! Interesting that it's only in the final area that those boxes are something crappy. I do like the way the portraits change to make best use of both 8-bit and 16-bit, uh, graphics. Alright, but what was the point of that? Okay... Another, uh, timer? Hmm. Man, they really weren't kidding when they talked about this being the ultimate challenge, were they? I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Messenger. When we, uh... 
figure out how to push forward. Oh, I see. And, uh... Well, track down the elusive phantom. Later. <laughs> <laughs>